Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. So I'm going to be quickly talking about Tana Mojo and Brittany Broski and Cody Cole situation going on because there's been more updates about this whole fucking fiesta. And basically, um, uh, Tana Mojo is calling out Brittany Broski for um, not believing her side of the story because, you know, ever since D'Angelo Wallace made that video about Cody Cole, he did like put Tana Mojo like in a really, really weird predicament because like he called her out to be like an unreliable source and she's like really unprofessional and she's known to be like problematic. And I was like, when I first saw that and heard that from Co uh, from D'Angelo's video, I like scream. You guys have no idea because I honestly feel the same thing and I, I feel so happy because like I don't have a big platform like D'Angelo Wallace so if I were to say that nobody would care but since he has like a big platform like people take him serious so he like did fucking society good give a big round of applause for fucking D'Angelo Wallace because Tana Mojo is problematic she's like known to be like weird she does like she just promotes her fans to do like cocaine and shit like that and to be and to take like homeless drugs like I honestly think this is my psychic prediction like Tana Mojo she's gonna be like fucking homeless because she's spending all this money and like she does all these like cocaine drugs and shit like that and Percocets and just controlled substance drug that make you fucking homeless and like a crack addict type of thing and she's not sober she always has to smoke fucking weed every time she does vi videos like this girl is not right in the head like she needs to be fucking sober but she just can't and literally like fucking she it, she also has like a drinking problem and She's just not a good example, like a role model to set for kids. And I'm so happy D'Angelo called her out. So I'm like thinking in my head, like Cody Cole, who portrays himself to be like this really, really good looking, successful guy. Like, why the fuck would he want to engage with the sexual activity with a minor when Tana was only 17 at the time? And like, on top of that, she's like problematic. Like, that's so disgusting, you know, from a guy who claims to be like a professional, you know, good hearted guy with good intentions. It's like, fuck off. Like, this is what why people need to subscribe to my channel because I call I'm blunt and honest and if people call me bitchy but I'm not I'm just like saying what everybody's thinking and what the actual truth is and people are just lie, liars and scammers like Cody Cole is just a fucking disgusting dirtbag that reminds me of David Bro Dobrik and he needs to get fucking hit by a truck I swear to god like this guy is a pedophile and he needs to go to jail I swear like I just I hate him so much but literally um and I hate people like him and I'm so happy that people are finally agreeing with me and my opinion on him because he's just a dirtbag and nobody likes him and just thank you for D'Angelo Wallace, Penguin Zero, like Moist Critical, like everybody has been making videos about this and we haven't been hearing news about this so far so this is why I'm making this video is because Tana, she called out Brody, or not Brody, what the fuck? Why did I say Brody? Uh, Brittany Broski because literally uh, in her statement that she said regarding the whole situation with Cody, she said that if these allegations are true. And then Tana went on her podcast and like whatever and she was just fucking getting like grilling Britney. She's like, well, the, it was true. He actually, him and I actually did have sex when I was only 17. And I feel like a scumbag because I'm at his age now and I would never do that to anybody younger than the age of 18. And I get where Tana's coming from. But Tana Mojo is unreliable. And this is why I'm making this video is because she's saying, like, Tana herself is saying that she's getting really, really frustrated by, like, D'Angelo uh, Wallace and other people saying that she's unreliable. And it's like, bro, you are unreliable. Like, we do believe you that, like, Cody's a fucking dirtbag. No doubt about it. But we don't take you, like, as serious as you want to be taken because you do all these fucking drugs and you're telling all these young fans to do these drugs that make people, like, fucking homeless. And, like, if it weren't for, like, your fame and fortune, like, you would be fucking homeless, you know? You would be probably, like, a fucking whore, like, in Las Vegas doing, like, strip shows and stuff like stuff like that. Like, prostitute or something like that. Or stripper, like, how Trisha Paytas was back in the day. Like, you're just... And there's a reason why you look up to her. Like, she's just so trash, Tana Mojo. I hate her so much. And... You know, I do feel sorry for her that she did get that happened from Cody Cole, but it's like, bro, like, you just are a problematic person, and you can't, like, blame Britney for being like, if these allegations are true, like, you're known to be a problematic person. So that's why I'm making this video, because a lot of people have been making videos saying that she's calling out Britney Broski, like, she went on her podcast, and she did all this other interviews and stuff, just calling out Britney Broski, saying that she's saying that, like, Tana Mojo is, like, lying, and it's like, bro, we know that you're a fucking pathological liar. You can't go and fucking try to make Britney Broski look bad when she's just telling the truth. So that's the only reason why I'm making this video, so subscribe if you're interested in my channel, and if any more updates about this whole Cody Cole situation happens he hasn't said anything like fucking ever since like um the statement with tmg studios where he said that he was going to be stepping down um and le letting like his co-workers take over but he's still gonna get paid you know he just doesn't want to be in the fucking 
um, company when it comes to like being called out for being fucking pedophile, having sex with a 17 year old when you were 25, when the legal age of consent at the time was 18 and still is 18 in Orlando, Florida. Like you should be locked in jail, Cody Cole. But literally that's like, he he's doing a Las Vegas, not Las Vegas. He's doing a DJ gig next month. So I'm curious to see like, if he actually does show up, like are people going to boo him now that this story is out and everybody's fucking making fun of him and calling him a creep rightfully so. So anyways, that's the whole situation. Sorry if like I talked really fast, but literally nothing else is happening like he hasn't made any statements so i'm gonna keep you guys updated and i love you guys so much if you're interested in my personality and topics that i talk about especially this topic then please subscribe and i love you so fucking much peace out